Hey guys, how are you all? I'm really well today. It's Sunday the 30th of April and back pain has completely gone touch wood. So um, I did get my husband to take me to Chiswick today and do a little mudlarking, which has been absolutely amazing. I, I thought I'd find it fascinating and it totally exceeded all my expectations. Um, it's a little bit mucky and, you know, I wore my walking boots, which are now absolutely covered in um, mud, river mud, which stinks a bit. Um, but I found some interesting stuff, to be honest. I haven't even introduced myself. So if you've just joined my channel, I apologise. My name's Jan Silver and I've been video logging my journey to and beyond the gastric bypass. If you can hear a bit of a noise down there, it's my husband. He is fixing a plug on the floor. I'm done. You're done. You're going to get done. it. Okay. There you go. Go say hello now. Hello. <laughs> um, so yes, I've had a really, 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 really good day and it didn't hurt my back as much as I thought it would bending over and... You know, I mean, I wasn't bending over all the time and I didn't find as much stuff as I hoped. But some of the bits are really interesting. For instance, I've got my little... Lisa's going to laugh at this look. I've used my cake tub to put my little artifacts in. I don't bake. I don't ever get cakes and I'm not a cake lover. So, you know, I mean, I found a little tiny bottle <laughs> You know, some people probably go, what are you doing, Jan? This is absolutely ludicrous, but... I did. I know you did. My husband just, you know, I really appreciate that he doesn't get it, and yet he still took me up there, and um, he hung around on the, the the paths of Chiswick while I was walking up and down the water's edge, and it was it was quite lucky, really, because the, the tide had gone out, excuse me, um, while we were there, so we kind of timed it really well. And we had a nice lunch on the river on the riverside there, and then I couldn't wait to get back to it. So yeah, for instance, I'll show you things like this. I don't know whether you can read it, whether it's in focus or not, but anyway, it's not a full bottle. So, you know, this isn't worth anything whatsoever, monetary value. But to me, that was probably made in the 1800s. And I just kind of go, shit, you know, that's been laying on the riverbed for 200 years. And that, that amazes me. That, that totally blows my mind away. And let me get a couple of my other bits. I got a bit of Aintree pottery. It's the base of a stoneware, um, what was a jam jar. And I think um, from watching other people that do mudlark, um, I think people used to sit on the side of the river in the olden days and, you know, um, eat their stuff. And then they'd just chuck it all in the river. Hence why there's so much of this stoneware and glazed pottery um, but this actually has Aintree on the bottom, um, so I know that it's a, a base of a jam jar, possibly made in the 1800s as well. So again, I find it quite fascinating. It's not any good for anybody, but I really like it. Um, I won't bore you too much more, but another good find. Oh, and I know I really wanted to find some clay pipes. Piju, get off the table. Get off. Oi. She's trying to look. Naughty girl. Um, is I found this bit of Derbyshire pottery, which actually is really quite interesting because I think that's a piece of Denby. I think it was Denby, Derbyshire. Um, and it's actually dated 1840. So again, really fascinating. The screen just fell down outside. I think it got a bit windy. Oops. I know. <laughs> so anyway, that's probably my star find today. I was really excited about that. Because when I picked it up first of all, you know, and I've learned through watching other people, if you see writing on it or whatever, you know, you, you, you pick it up. Because then you go home and do exactly what I have done, is I've enjoyed researching it and trying to find out anything about it. And I think, you know, when you've got time on your hands, this sort of thing can be really, really fascinating. And I'm probably boring the shit out of you a lot. But just my last things is I did find some clay pipes um, probably not in focus, um, but obviously not intact. And there would have been a bulb on the end of here and they would have smoked um, tobacco through it. They were made 16th, 17th, 18th century um, out of clay. And people used to smoke them once or twice and then throw them away. Hence why there's so many in the river. So I would love one day to find an intact one, you know. And again, there's no monetary value. So many were made that there's there's not any money in it because you can buy them. My husband was saying last night, I'm going to get one off eBay for you. And I'm like, no, I need to find it. So, you know, and this is really weird. Okay, last thing I'll show you. I've got a load. Of, 
my husband was there, you bought him a load of shit, Jen, but he doesn't mind. He knows that, it, you know. What the hell is this? What the hell is that when it's at home? Now, I said to Howie, I wondered if that is... See, this is half the fun, wondering what it is. You know, like, in the olden days, on a car, you had the kind of pointed... Maybe I'm thinking of American cars with an indicator cover. I don't know. If anybody has any idea what that could belong to, it's kind of strange, don't you think? But interesting. Anyway, guys, not weight-related whatsoever. And the downside to mudlarking is my step counts are shit. Well, I've done 6,500. And for me, normally on my good walks, I'm getting my 10,000. So I'm going to have to walk a lot around the house tonight to hit my 10,000 and possibly won't. Um... Yeah, we've been really lucky with the weather today. It's been quite, it's been cool enough so that I'm not hot walking around and, um, but we just missed the rain. And to be honest, for us to drive from here to Chiswick only took about 40 minutes in the car. So it's not long at all. So Lisa, uh, bear this in mind because on your day off next when we're both free, I think I'm going to come and pick you up and we'll go and do this because I know Lisa would like to do this as well. Um, Howie's just kind of embarrassed. He was just sitting on the, up on the, thingy reading his book he's not embarrassed but you know what I mean it just doesn't interest him so but I love him because he still goes along with I've shit I want to do he's just said he's got a garage full of shit yeah that's your shit not mine <laughs> all right I, I take that back actually it's half mine half yours anyway guys so nothing really to report weight weight loss wise um I was going to talk about um, not having a sweet tooth and things like that, but I, don't, I won't go on too long today. I can talk about that tomorrow in my um, update. Hannah, I believe you've done your video now. I don't know. I was out all day, so I'm home now. Once I've done dinner, I'll have a look later, and hopefully you're up and running on YouTube. Liz, you've done really, really well, and you know what? I know you've said in your video that you did your diet wrong or whatever. I think it sounds really complicated, your diet, and I would be exactly the same. I think I would be getting it wrong because you have to work so much out and you know I had such an easy go of my liver reduction um, diet and I would advise anybody that gets the choice to do that because it was literally four soups four yogurts and half a pint of milk easy simple and that's the kind of girl I am because otherwise I'd be like you Liz I would have got it all wrong and you know calculated things wrong so so don't beat yourself up you're on the right track four pound overnight girl come on that's brilliant and probably is a lot of water retention when you start to cut things out I think your body loses the water first so well done you know and it is always good we do lose a lot of weight on our liver reduction diet and you kind of go oh um not that that's what it's for it's to help your liver um but there you go guys I'm about to make a mini roast dinner for me and my lovely husband who took me out today and my son came back come to see me last night him and his girlfriend came to see me god not even speaking properly and I got this from Amsterdam. It's Helpy Halperson. I have a thing about rubber ducks. Hmm, another confession there, I guess. I have them up in my bath and I have some down by the pond. So my son said, I couldn't come home without a rubber ducky, mum. So I love it. I love her, Helpy Halperson. Um, anyway, guys. Oh, Hannah, quickly. I'm not sure if, even though I went private, um, my dietitian advised me to get this book and this was it's an nhs recipes for life um before and after sleeve gastrectomy or gastric so actually liz for you also um it, it might be an idea to get um it's very simple i haven't really looked through it an awful lot i have to be honest but it does give you portion sizes and so for anybody who's interested i think you can just go online and order it um, it's got recipes in there as well as ideas and um, the dietitian did tell me uh, when I start counting my protein, which I'm not doing at the moment, I will, um, it, it, there's an indication in here apparently uh, how to evaluate how much protein I'm getting. So I suppose I should look at it at some point, right? And I, w I will. I will. I'm just no good with books because I don't like cooking and I'm a bit shit with everything. I can put a bit of meat in the oven and some potatoes on, and a bit of gravy, and obviously vegetables, and that, I'm Bob's your uncle, that's me done, because that's the kind of cooking I am, simple, 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 anyway people, I hope that wasn't a really boring <laughs> video about my crazy mudlarking, but it was really fun, and it kind of just focused my mind, it's a bit like, I'll tell you what it was a bit like, colouring in, when you just switch off to the world, 
and you're just concentrating on looking at different shapes by your feet, you know. You can't think about people walking up there or people on the bridge or the boats going past you or the geese that are trying to attack you. Um, but what you can think about is what you're going to find and where it's come from and who's held it 200 years ago. And it's like, oh, my God. Anyway, I'm off on a tangent again, people. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll speak to you, at you, to you, tomorrow, whatever. Hope you're having a lovely bank holiday weekend. Bye, Peach.